Hello and welcome to this session in which we would look at a CPA exam simulation that deals with liquidating dividend. Now what is liquidating dividend? It's very important first to understand what is dividend. When is dividend distributed? Well, dividend is distributed when the company earns a profit and they decide to distribute some of that profit to shareholders. So simply put, dividend as a result of revenues minus expenses for a company, they generate revenues, they incur expenses, then they have net income, which is a profit. Now, this profit initially sits in an account called retained earnings. Basically, we are retaining, retaining, I mean, keeping it. Then at some point, the company might decide to pay this retained earnings, some of it or all of it. Now, in this session, we're going to be dealing with a special type of dividend called liquidating dividend. So the best way to illustrate liquidating dividend is to actually look at an example. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles, my accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses, broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. On June 1st, Adam Company Board of Directors declared a cash dividend of 750000 to its 450000 shareholders payable on June 15th to shareholders on record June 10th. Now, let's translate in simple English. The board of directors, basically the company, the people in charge of Adam Company, decided to make a dividend payment. How much is that dividend payment? 750000 Well, let's take a look at the equity section of Adam Company. They only have 550000 in retained earnings. Well, what does that mean? It means they want to distribute in cash dividend, 750000 but they only have 550 in retained earnings. Is that possible? Yes, it is possible. As long as they have the cash, they can send the cash, they can mail the checks, they can transfer the money to the shareholders. However, in terms of dividend, they cannot consider the whole thing in dividend. Why? Because dividend comes out of retained earnings. So simply put, we, only, we can only reduce retained earnings to zero. And by doing so, we can debit retained earnings 550000 Now, we declared 750000 of dividend. Now, we have a liability of 750000 But notice, those two entries don't balance. We are missing 200000 What do we debit for that 200000 Well, let, let's think about it for a moment. If we are given out 750000 of which only 550000 is profit to the shareholder, what is the remainder? Well, we're going to assume that the remainder is we're giving the, the, the shareholders their money back. Basically, we are liquidating the dividend. Liquid, it's a liquidating dividend. We are, In a sense, we are partially liquidating the company. We're not liquidating the company, but basically we are giving back the money to the shareholders. Therefore, the remaining 200000 would reduce additional paid in capital because we are giving back the money. Now, this is an important concept in taxation. It's called return of capital or ROC. We are giving the shareholders their money back. And guess what? If we are giving their money back, just from a tax perspective, this is not taxable. Why? Why? Because it's considered return of capital. We are giving, giving them back their money, which is should not be taxed because it's not a profit that's supposed to be taxed. So on June 1st, we debit retained earning, we debit additional paid in capital for the difference, and we credit dividend payable. Now, we're going to assume they have enough cash. They have 750000 in cash on the, on the balance sheet. June 10th, which is the record state. Again, on the record state, we have no entry. The record state means on that date, we review our shareholder list. Who owns the stock on June 10th? Um, get their name, addresses, social security, EIN, whatever we need to do to send them the money on June 15th. On June 15th, we'll cut the check or we wire the money to the various shareholders by debiting the payable and crediting the cash. So let's see what happened overall. Let's take a look at this scenario. Dividend payable is gone. 
basically our cash went down and our equity went down by 750,000. So notice liquidating dividend reduces your cash and reduces your equity. And this is what your equity would looks like after. Notice common stock, we did not touch common stock, 750, uh, 450, 450. Additional paid in capital was reduced from 1.5 million to 1.3 million and we zeroed retained earning. Our retained earnings is zero. And notice what happened to equity. Equity went down by overall 750,000, which is the amount of the cash we paid out. So equity went down, cash went down, we zeroed retained earnings, and we are ready to go back, generate more revenues, incur expenses, try to increase our retained earnings again. So this is a liquidating dividend. Make sure you are comfortable with this topic. What should you do now? Go to Farhat Lectures and look at additional MCQs, true false, additional resources. That's going to help you the various type of dividends we could have. Good luck. Study hard. Liquidating dividend is important. And stay safe.